Okay, so here are my favorite tips for blow drying your hair at home. You want to start by towel drying to get a lot of the moisture out because that will do a lot of the hard work for you. And before brushing, you want to apply your detangler to your extension hair as well as your natural hair. And then I like to section out my top section and clip it up while I'm applying the rest of my product to the extension hair. And that way you're not oversaturating the ends of your natural hair with too much product. One of my favorite products to use on older extension hair is Royal Blowout because it is oil based. It gives your hair a really nice shine and it actually helps your hair dry quicker too, which is always fabulous. So we use the wet brush to detangle and after everything's detangled, you can apply your leave-in conditioner, which my favorite is Super Shine Light. And then you can apply, if you're using a styling cream, you can apply that on top of your leave-in conditioner. And I've been loving Feather Balm lately. So now for the extension hair, I like to use high heat and high power. And um, I like to blow dry at a vertical angle because it really helps with, especially with your hand behind, it really helps to break through and dry your extensions all the way up to the top. So after they're all the way dry, you can use your wet brush to kind of filter the air through and make sure that everything is completely dry from root to end. So then I like to take down the natural section of hair and if you already applied product to it, you can go ahead and start blow drying. I like to power dry downwards and kind of away from the face until it's mostly dry. Then I'll start using my round brush just to get a little bit of volume at the root. And I also like to use the round brush to kind of feather my bangs and the pieces around my face away from my face. That way they're not like bugging me throughout the day. So it's a little bit tricky sometimes to get your bangs to kind of feather away from the face and still maintain volume at the root. So I like to use a large round brush, which will keep the ends from curling under too much. It'll give you volume without having to worry about getting that kind of weird bend at the ends. So as you can see here, I'm starting at the root and I kind of like to do um, bend underneath towards the root just to get a little bit of volume and then you'll see that I'm switching my hand position and feathering away from the face kind of switching back and forth directions until the ends are dry so that's the way we like to blow dry our hair at home I hope it helps and if you want to watch our curling video click the link below